supplies be connected to a warranty specialist. Warranties are mileage and time sensitive. They must be extended before your vehicle reaches certain mileage. Again, press 5. Be Thank you for holding. Can you verify your make and model? Well, I drive a, I got a Jeep Wrangler. Y'all, y'all work on them? Yes, sir. What year is it? Uh, let's see. It's 2013 is when I got it, but I, I bought it used, uh, in 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, what's the, what's the mileage, current mileage on it? The mileage? Oh, it's got, uh, 766,000 miles on it, over there. Okay. So, I'm not, uh, the reason you're getting a call today is to help you purchase coverage for the Wrangler. Uh, I'm not going to require that you bring it in and pay for a physical inspection, but I have to make sure that uh, the Wrangler still qualifies for coverage. So, authorization departments can ask you a few questions about the running condition. And if everything checks out, then I'll come back online and we'll go over your options, okay? All right, that sounds good right there. Excellent. Uh, can you verify your zip code for me, please? Yeah, that's going to be 30222. 222. Okay, uh, thank you. Please hold for one moment, sir. <laughs> look, 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 look. Okay, look, look. I ain't got this all day. I ain't, you just got to come on back because I can't sit here all day waiting on his ass up there. I got things to do over there. I got to run down to the AMP and get me some of that chicken because I'm going to grill some for me and the dog later on. You there? Hello? It's a long wait right here. Sometimes I said. Hi, thank you for holding. My name is Carissa in the authorization department. Looks like you're driving a 2013 Jeep Wrangler. Is that information correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Now, the reason I'm on the phone today is we don't require any physical inspections, so we just have to be cautious about offering coverage on certain high-risk or non-qualifying vehicles. So what I need to do is just run through a quick series of questions with you just about the running condition of the vehicle just to be sure it's eligible for coverage, okay? All right. All right. Is everything currently running okay on your vehicle at the moment? Well, it's got some kind of sound in it. When, uh, it's, I guess it's all right, but there's a lot of clicking and, and ticking in the engine. Uh -huh. But it, as far as, as it runs, you know, I go to the store back and forth, but it does have something wrong. I can hear it. You know what I mean? Okay. And you have, have you taken it and uh, have it looked at? Well, I got an oil change uh, last year on it. And when they changed the oil, they said it was looking like it probably needed more oil changes more often is what they told me. Okay. And have you been keeping up with all the oil changes and servicing? Well, I've tried to, but see, I don't drive it a lot, so I, I ain't had a I ain't had an oil change in probably uh, six months on it. Okay, no worries. And then, um, have you happened to make any modifications to this vehicle at all? Well, I hit a deer in it. That kind of modified it. Okay. You know, I tell you, I'm gonna tell you what daggum happened. Okay. Okay. All right, I was. I was going up there over uh, on the uh, in the cove over there in the mountains, right? Okay, I was riding through there, and and that gun police got on me because I ain't bought my tag. Okay, I, yeah, my tag was expired. I didn't have the money because I had bought some of that beer over there for the goats. Uh, they they uh, ran out of corn, and uh, my goats like beer, and I ain't gonna make them do without beer, you know. Anyway, so I was driving down there. That gun police lit me up like that. Hey, 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 darn there's on down the road where I got on that thing. I was holding the gas down. I got about 90 miles an hour, right? I was just flying. I looked in the rear view right there. Them blue lights just disappearing on me. All of a sudden, bam! I hit a dad come there. Hey, I knocked that son of a bitch right up there about 75 yards through the treetops. He's taking out the damn tops of pine trees. Look like hamburger meat just slung up there on the side of them trees up there. Uh, I ran over there in the ditch, almost split my Jeep over up there. Got out the daggum fleece, didn't it? Hey, look, hey, that fobo, they didn't even know I was in the ditch. Hit some of said, woo, 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 Went on right past me. I was over there in the ditch, the deer was up in the trees. Hey, that's a true story right there. True story right there. I ain't, but I ain't paying no daggum warranty to go over there fixing my Jeep just because I run from the police from time to time and hit me a deer or two. 
You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Ah, okay, but it's still good and you can drive it, so that, that, that'll be okay. Yeah. All right, well, based on the information you provided, your vehicle definitely qualifies for coverage. I'll go ahead and authorize the highest amount of coverage available for your vehicle. Now, in order to take advantage of the coverage, all we're asking is to either accept or decline at the end of the call by simply telling your agent yes or no. So let me place your agent on the line. He's going to let you know what your vehicle does qualify for. And again, just let him know if you're accepting or declining today. One moment, please hold the line. Okay, thank you. She thinks I'm going to do that. She had a damn mind. <laughs> Screw that. I just dad got hung up on those with old darn out there. That jacket right there on my phone. I just hit that damn hang up button on him. They getting all excited thinking that's gonna get some darn hell's money. Not today. Not today. Uh-oh. -uh. Hey, let me tell you, she dad gun crazy. She think darn hell's gonna buy that damn warranty on my Jeep. I can fix that son of a bitch myself.